Okay guys, welcome to Westy Travels. In this video today, we're going to cover the subject when you're out on the trail and hiking and you get to night time and you're going to sleep, what sleep system's best? Sleeping bag or a quilt? So what we'll do is we'll cover the advantages and disadvantages of both a sleeping bag and a quilt system. Most people start off with a sleeping bag because it's what they know and they imagine that a quilt system will actually be very, very cold. And in fact, it's the complete opposite. Myself, I've, I've hiked for over 20 years and I've always used sleeping bags up until the last couple of years. And I tried out a quilt for the first time. And like any other piece of kit, they're always suited for a type of situation. So today we'll just cover that and we'll show you how they're used and the advantages of them. And they're not quite what you think. So size wise, the two systems we're going to show you today in this small stuff sack, it's my own stuff sack, so it'll go a lot smaller than that, is a summer light western mountaineering sleeping bag and in here is an enlightened equipment enigma quilt and you can see they're both roughly the same size. This one looks slightly bigger because I've just not compacted it down but I'll quickly show you them. We'll not so much cover these individual ones, I will give you the sizes and weights so if you're interested in them, you can sort of look at them yourself online. But it's more about the advantages and disadvantages of both systems. So first up, we'll start with your traditional sleeping bag. This one here is from a company called Western Mountaineering and it's a summer light. So it's obviously a summer sleeping bag that goes down to zero degrees, which is about 32 Fahrenheit, I think, for for the Americans out there. Uh, it's very lightweight, you know, it's, it's, I think it's about 525 grams, which is 18 and a half ounces. So very lightweight, packs very small. And that's the advantage of it. It packs very small, but it is a summer hiking one where your temperatures aren't really going beneath freezing with it. Disadvantages of this type of sleeping bag you're coming in, you can see from the end of it here, it's mummy shaped. So when you're sleeping in it, you're on top of your mat and you're cocooned in. So if it's very hot and clammy, you're, you're kind of you're almost imprisoned in the sleeping bag and it can get very hot and clammy in them and you end up unzipping the the sleeping bag and then half an hour later you wake up cold and you repeat that process so that's your disadvantage of a lightweight sleeping bag is if it is too hot you're constantly putting the zip up and down trying to keep warm and then sort of cool down with it and you're constricted in your movement when you're rolling around it just depends what kind of sleeper you are if you're somebody that just sleeps on their back and just it stays still all night you're fine with it but a lot of the time you're rolling over and you end up twisting in the sleeping bag because it's sticky, rolls with you and your zip ends up in the other side and you need out for the toilet in the middle of the night and you're trying to find your zip. So that's your disadvantage of that sleeping bag system. So what I'll do is I'll dig out the enlightened equipment quilt and I'll show you the difference with that. They're exactly the same kind of fill power 850 fill power but what you can see on the sleeping bag is that's obviously got to have the down feathers going right around the bag with it where the quilt just has it on top so what you find although it's the same fill power you'll notice straight away taking into account this bag's 10 12 years old and it's just out of a stuff bag you notice straight away when you go to the quilt how much more loft you have on it and it's all above you where you need it so we'll dig that out just now and we'll get into that. So one of the first things you'll notice here, as I say, this is your enlightened equipment, Enigma sleeping bag, eh, quilt, I should say, not sleeping bag. Now quilts come in different shapes and sizes. You can just get a plain rectangular one. You can get ones like this one, which has got a to a sewn toe box. So the bottom of the quilt, is sewn up for the first like couple of hundred millimeters and it just slides over the bottom of your sleeping uh, your sleeping pad and lets you keep that in place with it. 
One of the things I imagined before I looked into quilts and started using them was it literally was just a blanket on top of your mat and that you'd be very cold with it, but in, ca in fact, it's not the case. So what you actually have here, when you see it, if I lift the mat here, you can see it and turn it over. You can see here, if I take you down, you've got your, your toe box, which is coming up. I'm saying 200 odd mil, but it, in fact, it's, it's probably about 400 mil, 500 mil coming right up. And then you have the option here, You've got a couple of straps there, which you can either do what I've done here, just hang them loose to keep it in place so it's not your sleeping mat's not coming out. Or and you've got a single one here, which is adjustable and you can pull right in as well. And as well at the top, you've got a couple of clips here that you can actually do it. So you can actually keep it fully on your mat if it's that bit colder. You can sense them right in and it's coming right under the mat on both sides. And you've also got a little drawstring here that you can grab hold of and pull in and cinch in. So you've got a neck there with a collar with it. All these things are optional. So you've really got to do your research and look what you're wanting from the quilt. Now, advantages of this system over the sleeping bag is, is when it's a warm evening. You don't have to have those straps on. You can just, you can keep it loose or you can just put one strap on depending on the temperature. And what it allows you to do is if you're needing to get up for the toilet or get in and out of your tent, you're not fighting a zip trying to find where it is and it's snagging as you're pulling on and out, you can just come straight in and out. And because it's not mummy shaped like the sleeping bag, you've just got that much more room to roll around and you're not feeling as clammy in a hot day. Some people don't like the aspect that you're just sleeping straight on top of the mat. And what they do is they, they'll buy a silk sleeping bag liner and they'll just put it over their mat. I found it not to be a problem. You can always keep a kind of, you know, a t-shirt or something on so you're not sticking to the mat if it's too hot with it. But the, the, the advantage of is just the freedom of movement and all the heat's kept in because you've got that 850 fill power on this specific one. So I've never felt cold. And what I felt was a little bit more room, not as clammy. And you've got the ability to turn it into a sleeping bag almost by cinching those straps in. So your bottom one's a double one. So you can just pull it like I've done loosely there over the mat and the underside of it or you can actually slide it on first and then when you're sleeping in there and you're just keeping your, your quilt loose, if you feel you're getting a bit cold, it's just two little buckles, a male and female, and you can click them in. So you don't have to have it on permanently. And the top one, again, you can adjust and pull that in so it brings the, tight, the, the quilt right in tight under it and you cinch down your collar with it. I've been using this for two years maybe done four or five trails in it. And I'll be honest, I used the summer light for about 10, 12 years there. Fantastic little sleeping bag. But as long as your weather's decent, you're not up in the mountains and it's kind of summertime, for me, I think the quilt's the way to go. And they're not quite what you think they are. There's lots more options. As I say, you've got poppers on it, you've got straps, you can cinch it in. You can leave it loose so it's just sitting over you and you can get in and out of it so much easier. You just feel a little bit more free with it. So given the choice between the two, for me just now, I'd plump for this one, the Enlightened Equipment, which is a minus one sleeping bag. And it's slightly heavier, isn't it? 614 grams and 21 ounces but not much heavier and it packs down incredibly light, but you've got all that loft in it. So I hope this little video helped you make your decision if you were looking at quilts for the first time and it gives you an option between the two and you can go on to enlightened equipment and you can actually customize the type of quilt you want so it suits your purposes or you can buy a stock off the shelf type one if you want it a little bit quicker then, okay? Hope that helps you, and if you enjoyed the video, you can be sure to give us a, 
a like and a subscribe. That'll be appreciated. And we'll see you next time. Toodaloo.